Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome to the Homebrew News for the April 2022. Nice new updates and releases are here, so let's just jump right into it. First new release is called Boris and the Dark Survival, developed by Seal Animation Studios, thanks, and it is a simple top-down 2D game for the PSP and PS Vita, and the main objective is to collect all the things scattered around the area in order to elevate into the next level. You gotta avoid the Ink Demon at all costs or else you'll get deleted. As I said, the game is simple, it is for free, with the size around 50 megabytes. get it from the link down below. Second title we are looking at is called Sugar's Delight, brought to you by DJ Misha, thanks. And it is a NSFW Yuri visual novel, thus you should be 18 and older to give it a try. It is around one and a half hour long or short and I would rate it uh, below average. But I'm including it anyway because I know there are plenty of visual novel fans out there. So if you want to give it a go, link is down below, size is about 180 megabytes. Third new release has got the title 8-bit Bayonetta, ported by Dan Cooper, thanks. And it is another one of the Ichio ports. It is pretty basic uh, in terms of gameplay, all you can do is jump up and shoot and nothing else. Enemies are coming at you from the side, you are trying to hit them with the projectiles, whilst lasting the longest and getting the highest score. Size is about 160 megabytes. link is in the description and if you are enjoying this kind of videos, subscribe as there is more to come. Another basic release is called Supra Mairo Krat, <laughs> ported by Mega Game Boy and original developed by really handsome people, thumbs up. And it is a Mario Kart parody game, there are two tracks and three characters to choose from. And my biggest issue with it are the controls, as you are supposed to accelerate, brake and steer all with the same joystick, none of the other buttons are utilized. And as soon as you get off the track, you are respawn back in. So I was usually in a constant respawning cycle, which is not really enjoyable, as I'm sure all of you are aware. Size is 130 megabytes. Get it for free from VitaDB. <laughs> now to the updates. First very exciting one for the Roly Poly by Spartan Fox to the version 2.1. The game was the part of Q and PS Vita contest where it ended up winning silver medal or second place in one of the categories. Q and contest also recently celebrated its first birthday. I did really enjoy it and I'd love to see some other Vita homebrew contest in the future. And what about you? Would you like to see another homebrew contest? Let your voice be heard in the comment section down below. So back to the Roly Poly. It is a very original, marble madness-like game with Mario Galaxy style gravity, where you have to collect all the gems and get to the end as AP. New level and level select screen has been added, as well as many other new features implemented like hints, first person view. The performance is now also considerably higher since the last time I tried it. All in all, this game is a perfect example of an original homebrew game well made where sometimes you can even forget it is a homebrew and not an official release. Keep up the great work, it's much appreciated, and if you want to get it, you know what to do. Size is about 150 megabytes.
Next we've got updates for two emulators and one brand new has been also released. All of them were developed by CPS Justice. Thumbs up. We have received updates for PSNES, the multi-platform port of SNES 9X emulator and for PFBN, the multi-platform port of Final Burn Neo. The brand new one is PNES, the multi-platform port of Nestopia. You can see the full changelog on the screen right now. There were many enhancements added, so if you are using it, I would absolutely recommend updating it or trying out the new PNES. It is very good. Nice one. PS Vita port of This War of Mine by Rin and Flow has been also just released. If you haven't seen my latest video, check the right corner or down below. It is amazing port and for sure it is worth installing in spite of the lower frame rate. Zealous Chuck approves. There is also an update for Project Lighthouse over at the lbpunion.com. There is a whole article, 7 minute read, so if you want to know more, make sure to head over there via the link down below. Project Lighthouse is basically a custom server for Little Big Planet PS3 and PS Vita versions. You can now even apply for closed beta testing. There has been many improvements and enhancements added that you can see on the screen right now. We've got also update for new upcoming homebrew, The Four of Us Are Dying by No Rod Ninja. He's got some basic AI working, plus Elgato HD60, so the video quality is much better now. Keep it up, man! First April is over, but the pranks are still here with us. The crate had pulled one on us with his Android Air, aka Android Oreo running on the Vita. I, for a second, also thought it is real, but then my logical side took over and I realized it is a freaking joke. Nice one, brother. And I guess some people still think it's for real, so it worked out really well. I had also a nice laugh on the Cyberpunk 2077 glitch compilation by Dan Cooper. It was very enjoyable indeed, even though it's just a video. Last but not least, I want to highlight Rin's tweet where he showcased his work in progress project of Jedi Knight Jedi Academy that is also supposedly getting ported and I'm absolutely eager to find out more. He has been also testing symmetric multiprocessing in order to improve its we'll frame rate and this technique allows the renderer to basically run in a multi-threaded way which would help the frame rate immensely in OpenJK, so Quake 3 and even in RTCW. So I think this is very promising. Amazing excited? update, brother. Keep it up. Jedi. Learning the ways of the Force, building a lightsaber.
and that would be it for this video we'll have to leave the rest for the next one there is still so much going on and it's just me so it's hard to keep up if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to not miss upcoming content check all the links down below especially the affiliate ones to support the channel follow me on socials thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace